This internal crisis paralyzed me for months, to the point where I simply stopped creating anything. But how could all of that have been because I wasn't tinkering around in my garage or building a piece of furniture? Since I began my YouTube channel about a year and a half ago, my life has experienced several paradigm shifts. I believe these were all necessary to put me on the path that I am destined for, but they often leave more questions than they answer. I found myself drawn in many directions as a woodworker, a content creator, and a human being. I've started to wonder whether I am working my craft to create content or creating content to work my craft. A very prophetic friend of mine dropped that on me, and I've never been the same since. That same friend also told me he's always believed that there is an artist inside of me. I've never considered myself an artist. I'm a passable photographer and videographer at best. I have several amazing friends who are artistically talented in the traditional sense, but they would be the first to tell you that art doesn't truly have any boundaries. This internal crisis paralyzed me for months to the point where I simply stopped creating anything. But how could all of that have been because I wasn't tinkering around in my garage or building a piece of furniture? Why, in the absence of creation, was I feeling lost and isolated? Then it hit me. When my friend told me he always believed there was an artist inside of me, he was right, but I am not a traditional artist. In fact, if you look up the definition of artist, there are several definitions, ending with the last and broadest, the conscious use of skill and creative imagination. My mind raced at this. If you really think about it, you are engaging in art anytime you are using your mind, skills, and imagination. When I wasn't engaging in those parts of myself, I stopped creating anything and being artistic. I felt lost and isolated because I wasn't engaging with myself or my creativity. When you were idling as a person and using distractions like drinking, doom scrolling, and binging TV, you aren't engaging in those parts of yourself. You aren't creating. You aren't engaging in anything other than the art of self-indulgence. I had arrived at a crossroads. I found myself disinterested in creating the content that I had been churning out. Something which once excited me had become the opposite. The truth is, despite making massive strides in my content and my skills, I had become complacent without my own knowledge. Yes, I was engaging in my skills, but I was not doing enough to push the boundaries of them, to get outside of my comfort zone. My content felt like it got to the point where it was rinse and repeat, even though the topics varied from video to video. Isn't that wild? So where should I go from here? Clearly I could not keep doing the same things and expecting it to change. That's insanity. And I grappled with this question for a very long time. Even when I felt at my best, I still felt like something was missing. I think that the words conscious use and the definition of art really say a lot. A lot of people make daily decisions for their lives apathetically and without intention. Doing this removes your consciousness from the decision-making process and puts you on autopilot. I was on autopilot. You're probably wondering what this has to do with woodworking or content creation, but don't you see? It has everything to do with it. Inside of every maker, no matter the craft, they are engaging in the art of their craft, the art of their mind to create something. There are no limits or boundaries on what the something is that you create. You are an artist. As silly as this sounds, my life changed for the better when I really internalized what my friend said to me. He saw me as an artist, something which I had never once considered before. But there is an art to making, an art to content creation, an art to your style and the ways you do things. Applying yourself consciously is an art in and of itself. Something as small as going into my workshop and engaging in whatever is on my mind is art. In tearing away this misplaced boundary that I didn't even know I set for myself, I began to find my will and my sense of self again. If you find yourself feeling similarly or feeling trapped, you owe it to yourself to break out of that prison. Sometimes that door that you thought was locked or closed really isn't. You just had to try the handle. It is never too late to make a change. All you have to do is try. If you remove your boundaries, you can seek enlightenment. I know that this is not the video that many of you expected, but it was absolutely necessary for me to make this. I needed to re-engage in the part of me that felt lost, that often falls to the wayside in the chaos of life, to create something for myself and hopefully for the rest of you. So here's to all of you, makers or not, who have felt lost. I hope this serves as a reminder to you all to not just make things for others, but to make things for yourself. If you continuously make things for others without regards for yourself, 
you might lose touch with yourself. Just remember that by immersing yourself fully in anything, including yourself, you are engaging in the creation of art. You are an artist. If you are struggling, dealing with burnout, or lack of direction, I made this next video for you.